I think it's it's very fucking hypocritical from the American people because it's like what is so with this man dying yeah. it should be more towards a peaceful sort of protest so why would you let his death be in vain and first of all first of all all this coronavirus shit like so they they've been obviously this pan- pandemic has been going on they're like oh you have to stay you know however many feet away and they've had restrictions over there lifted but then they're all like fucking close together oh. so you dumb fucks <laughs> you dumb shits because yeah basically the no way you said that. Uh, that I listen to a lot of the Chris Alea podcasts. That's it. He goes, <laughs> you're boring and you're shit, but also, um, yeah, with those guys, like, but they don't care. They, they, they don't have care. a they have a bigger cause to fight for right yeah. now than than some restrictions. And I understand there was a senseless killing, but why I the people are not going to listen to you if you're going in, you're looting the place. And you're causing destruction and you're doing all this and it's not like it's hunky dory here in australia we've had our own issues with the aboriginals um in terms of how they've been treated so it's not like where australia is going oh yeah clean fucking slate around here but i just reckon look i can say this like they should have probably gone about it a better way but how we don't know hindsight's a wonderful thing they might have fought in the moment all right, fuck, we're just going to come in and start causing some shit and maybe someone can hear us. You said something about 30 seconds ago that I wanted to comment on. Um, do you, do you, can you just recite what you'd said about 30 seconds ago, 45 seconds ago? I'd have to go to the t- <laughs> you have to go to the t- No, because you, you made a mention of the, the, the senseless uh, death. Yeah, okay. You, you talked about how people, they want... Well, people want to get their voice heard, right? And you say, writing in this way, acting in this way is, what did you say? Not the best way to get your point across? Yeah, it's not the best way to get your message across. You just, you just, you know, you, with this death, and you're causing more death. They're like, people have been, police officers have been killed from this. Civilians have been killed from this. So what are we achieving? It's now, it's no longer... It is still about this guy getting killed, yeah, but actually not really because now it's about other people getting killed, senseless fucking killings, and the message is being distorted through all this. So yes, I'm gonna yeah. okay. Let me provide some some context. Look, this we got to go back. Like this has been like discrimination, oh, racism. Yeah. We know this has been an issue for hundreds of yeah. years, right? So there are these deep seated roots of emotion and anger and frustration and personal turmoil people the people have gone through from from native landowners which there's a whole separate topic of like you know of america and and north america of of uh the the native americans to aboriginals in australia every land has it so we have that but then let's talk about the issue at hand right uh the discrimination of minority groups such as african-americans okay you're like your point has merit it's like well how is violence and looting and rioting and 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 killing how is that an effective how do we if we look at how do we friends and influence people if we look at basic psychology yeah one would say if you want to have and you want to convince somebody of your point of view that is an ineffective way to do that however when you have a group of people who have been persecuted and feel like they are, they've lost hope because they have tried and tried and tried again to uh, protest peacefully. And let's let that be known. There's actual, there's plenty of peaceful protests going on, yeah. right? It's not. Oh, all- no, I'm not saying it's just, you know, everyone's going nuts. Like, there is still stuff going on, yeah, so. Cool. So time and time again, these things have happened, right? This is like, it's been in the media for decades like every year or so there'll be like a famous um death of a there'll be like an infamous death of of a of a black or minority individual okay colin Ka- uh was it colin uh kaepernick who 2016 yeah he now he kneeled during the national anthem right there's some sh- so kneel during the national anthem to to represent and fight for what he believed in right you want to say you got well fucking he got proven right because 
he was fighting for the same issues he was fighting for four years ago that are going around today. And everyone was like, what the fuck's this guy doing? Well, yeah. <laughs> but you can see people, famous people, like influential people, there have been many attempts to come with this conversation in a peaceful manner. And I think there is now this strange concoction of a pandemic, people being cooped up indoors, their businesses have already been affected, money's been, t- they can't make their money, they're, they're, they're isolated, they're, they're struggling. There's, every time they turn on the news, it's, it's something else about this. Oh, people are dying here. Like, my friend's getting sick here. Blah, blah, blah here. It's like all this chaos is just bubbling, right? And then you get you light the fire. The kindling has been lit with the death of George Floyd. And they just fucking go off because it was, it was like a moment. It's like America and the, all these countries, like they're, we, they needed the moment to spark the fire. And this just sparked the fire, man. And I think in conjunction with everything's going on, they people are, they feel, I would imagine, they sound like they feel hopeless. They feel like they're at their wits end and they are going to go to war now to restore and ch- restore order and, and fundamentally change the system that has been so flawed for so long. I think it's been nine days straight, you know? I think, I don't, I don't remember this ever happening in my lifetime. So systematically across America, America. I'm like, I don't anticipate it's gonna let up. When I saw it popped up in other states that had nothing to do, like that was like, okay, this is this is real serious shit right now. So I I don't think it's effective, but I don't think they have any other option right now. They need, they want to create change, and I think the only way they know now how to create change is through force. No, that's a great point. Yeah. I mean, if you know if you disagree, it's like no, I don't. Uh, oh well, it's not like I'm one me- way or the other. Like I'm just this is what uh, the way you've explained it though. Um, yeah, it's definitely very eye-opening. It's not like I didn't, you know, understand that, but it's like yeah, yeah. I was sort of, yeah, and I was going from the way of like I just didn't see how violence on top of violence is going to help solve this problem. But the fact that they've had, people have been oppressed for so long and it's like you can only take so much shit before you snap. Yeah, that's it. You've and, well said. And yeah, that's, yeah, it's a, that's, a, that's a great point. That's a great point. There, 